This is the 16 penny puzzle. We have to figure out how to get this penny into the rest of them so it all lays flush. Well, it's pretty close there, but I bet that's not the solution and it will be best to start at the beginning. Here we go. Uh, my first thought is to line up the curve because I think most people would start by lining up the pennies at the bottom. But if we start at the curve, this will give us an advantage. So now we can either fill up the bottom or we could fill up the holes in the curve. I'll try this first. So we have six, and I'll do a row of five, and then a row of four. But I cannot even do a row of five. Well, no, maybe I can. Hmm. See. Let's go in. Oh, look, it's so close. All right, we'll say that goes in. So row five. Now, well, this could be a very easy puzzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is, that is infuriating. It's just enough. Oh, look at that. Come on. Is this? No. Okay. Okay, so we did the six. Here, I did the top. Now I'm gonna do a line at that side. I'm gonna really do the border. Well, what if I start, okay. Four here, four here. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, it's covering it with my wrist. Wait, is that one, two, three, four, five, yeah, no, that's 15. Okay, so if it won't be four there, now let's try maybe a checkerboard thing. So we'll try doing four, and then we'll do three, because this way we can get them very close to each other. And now we can do another row of four. It's four, no, let's see. I know if we do this, this is the closest that pennies can be together, this formation here. It cannot go any closer together. So maybe we just have to see where we can move the seven penny group to. I guess that's the place we can go to. Cause here there is absolutely no space between those pennies. So if we can put more in, this should be good. We just have to fill the pennies in one at a time. So now, even if this isn't the exact right position on the board, it would just be rotating this because these pennies are, they're, they're perfectly touching each other. That's the thing, when you have perfect circles, then you can do this formation of seven of them, flower petal-like. So there, these are all perfectly lined up. There's no space between any of them. Now we'll rotate them all this way. All right, you can see this is all perfectly flush still. This piece here. All right. So these are all perfectly flush. But that's not really helping here. Hmm. No, because this would... Oh. Huh? No. Oh. That's... What, you just gotta jam them in. Okay, let's think. What other, okay, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna, so six fit in the top. I put the space on one side, I put the space, you know, it shouldn't matter if there's a space on one side. Let's just see what happens if we do three then three, okay? Now, we'll do two then two. Mm-hmm. Okay. All that wasted space though. Unless. Okay. Nope. All right. Well, oh, oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. Five.
Oh, oh it's, it's so close. Okay, six, then the five go there. Do I want one in the corner or two, or do I want two in the corner? Let's see, two in the corner would mean that I could do three here, and then, just, is this it? Wait, how do I? No. It's really close with the, the three space. And then the five there. Could it be like only four there? What if I went to four? No, it has to be like a six, five. Oh, what if I put the five that, oh, look at that. I was trying to do it there, but if you put the five on that side, okay. Six, five, so now how many pennies are left? Cause these will go in two rows. Six, five, then three and two. Yeah, this will be it. One, two, three. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Just making sure I'm not gonna finish. Oh, yeah. Oh, look! Ha! 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 How it looks so random.